<laughs> it was really funny. But he was sitting right out there, and I walked by, and I said, hello, like I usually do, and he meowed at me. And then he started heading in here, so I followed him, and he sat right in front of his dish, which was empty. He's like, feed me! So, he's like a cat version of Lassie or something. <laughs> Well, it's kind of a crappy day today. It's raining. Uh, it's raining on and off though, so I'm doing what I can when it's not raining. Thank you. And uh, right now it just started raining again, so I can't... I'm rewiring the headlight, or the driving lights. This one I'm not going to even use it, so... But I gotta, I'm just running a separate circuit. I gotta run one from there, probably up and along into the firewall again. Up into there. I'm going to mount this switch inside the cab, probably below my battery switch. And then I'm uh, just going to freaking have it manual. Yeah. And this is what I'm dealing with. Just started pouring again. And that's going to let off. And then I can, uh... wow, those clouds are moving really fast. Oh, that's weird. For a second there, that looked like a baby lying down, kind of, like covered in a blanket, and there's kind of his shoulders right there, and there's his head. Weird. Twitchy camera. That's bizarre. You guys see it? Kind of different now. Man, those are some fast moving clouds. And I think I might be able to go back to work. Maybe. Well, I redid all the wiring. I got this trigger wire. It's run all the way down into the firewall. Ow. And see there, the usual spot. What I did is I just tapped into this circuit here because that's a key on circuit this uh, yellow, or frick, I always get yellows and whites mixed up. White and red goes to the, the fan power, and this one is for the driving lights, so. Yeah, friggin' right. I think I'm gonna go take her for a romp now. I also um, redid, well not redid, but I stoved a new uh, light into there, so you can't see it, but. Anyways, uh, the batteries is, the batteries. The battery is almost dead, so uh, check it out. Nice. Now I'll be able to start her. Friggin' right. Check out the driving lights. Cool. Yeah, they're both coming on. You can see in the reflection over there. Past the dirty windshield. Friggin' right. Heading out to town. I have to uh, go pick up some boxes. Also, I might do um, subwoofer install video because uh, I figured out that I can run subs off that amp that's in the car, so I'll probably do that. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'll see you guys out there. I cannot find my Corolla key anywhere. I have no idea where it went. Nowhere to be found, which really sucks because I need it. It's not anywhere. I have no idea how I can lose a key like that. It's just no idea where the hell it went. It's not anywhere. It's got to be somewhere, but it's not anywhere obvious that I would have left it. Unless somebody else grabbed it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Found it. I just put it on my key ring, but you guys want to know where it was? Sitting in the trunk. Frick. I had to retrace my steps. I'm like, what did I go in the trunk for? An empty uh, wiper fluid bottle. Why did I need that? So that I had something to put the freaking gear oil in. 
Oh, I also forgot to mention that uh, I'm going away for the weekend. Um, I might record a little bit while we're there, but I'm not going to be uploading because I won't have access to the internet. So, yeah, I'll be back on Monday for sure. So, I might put up like a this two or three day montage or something because I'm heading out Friday night. And then uh, I'll be back probably Sunday night. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, I won't put up a video Friday night or Saturday night, so I guess I might might put one up on Sunday night, but uh, anyways, just want to let you guys know that there won't be any videos for a couple of days. Well, right next to the noisy highway, I'm going to install this up first now. So i got to yank this thing out, and i got to switch, because i I got fronts. For the tweeters and I got rear for the mid-range so what we're gonna do is switch the mid-range or the, the rears to the sub out and then um, I'll just run the mids and tweets off the same channel so yeah got the subs installed on the car and they sound good I can't show you guys though because YouTube doesn't like it when I put music in my uh, videos so I'm not gonna put music in my videos but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It went in easy. I got a little bit of uh, frequency tweaking to do, but other than that, it's pretty good. Pounds, not as hard as the last system I had, but that's 750 watts versus I guess 235. So all I did was um, on the rear channel, I bridged them. I used the left or the how did I go? Left negative and right positive, and out to the subs. So they work pretty good. Um, also, uh, while we were downtown, I stopped in and saw Dad right before he took off, uh, just before he was leaving work, and I got him to scan the Corolla. Apparently, it's either the catalytic converter or the injectors. Um, it's throwing a fuel 420 code. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I don't know. So at least now I know what it is. Yeah. Got some banana boxes, too. Um, those are good for moving, packing stuff up, but I tried to carry all six of them out of the store at once and I ran into a cart that uh, some lady was filling and I knocked them all down, so it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> well, I'm just editing the video and realized again I forgot the outro, so this is the outro. Anyways, um, I might do a quick, quick video tomorrow uh, before... I take off, but I've only got until about maybe one o'clock. Then I gotta head up to Castlegar and start getting ready and stuff. But what do I need to do tomorrow? Um, I think I might try um, putting, making like a double, a double uh, shifter boot thing for the twin sticks, and I'll try to get some more of that uh, thick rubber stuff put in so that uh, it dampens the sound between the transfer cases and what you hear or in the cab or whatever, I'm tired, I'm really tired. Um, but one of my buddies was suggesting that um, because I've got a huge hole in the floor right above the transfer cases and the gear shifter is like, it's got that slot in it and the usual one, the stock one is sealed and it's got the boot and everything on it, it's a lot more quiet. But mine's got that slot cut in it so all the noise is just getting like funneled up right into the cab so it could just be as simple as that and I might not have anything to worry about but you never know so anyways um, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> take care